After undergoing rapid identification, Typhoon Nanmadol is now at Category 5 intensity, currently located at 25.5 degrees north, 133.8 degrees east, and is likely peaking right about now as a Category 5 on the Saffir Simpson scale and poses quite the risk to Japan. Right now, the storm has winds of 160 miles per hour, that's 260 kilometers per hour, and a pressure of around 9 at 10 millibars. Moving right now, northwest at 11 miles per hour, that's 18 kilometers per hour, and looks to make landfall in Japan in around two days from now. Looking at the wind field right now, it's mainly dominated on the northern side right now, 185 nautical miles on the northwest and northeastern sides, with a equally sizable wind field, but not as large on the southern side, but still a very large wind field for the storm right now. Located 385 miles away from Naha, 462 from Kagoshima, 592 from Fukuoka, 640 from Osaka, and 784 from the capital of Japan, Tokyo. We will likely see those land masses numbers decrease as the storm is forecast to strike Japan in around 48 hours from now, likely as a low end category 3, 115 miles per hour. So there will be some weakening, but heavy rainfall will be a big threat with the storm as it makes its landfall and moves throughout Japan. Really going to affect the whole country over the next couple of days into the following week. Right now, maximum sustained winds are 160 miles per hour. JTWC are going to be running with 155 miles per hour on the next update, but the Japan Meteorological Agency and all Dvorak estimates are in favor of a 160 mile per hour initial intensity for the storm right now, so a very powerful storm right now. Uh, latest JTWC forecast cone does call for a landfall in around 48 hours from now, likely just below uh, just the, or around low end category 3, high end category 2, uh, though, but the, regardless, that 5 mile per hour difference it, it isn't really going to mean much as heavy rainfall is going to be the biggest threat for this storm. We could be seeing a lot of inches. I don't actually know how much, uh, but I know that uh, a lot of our team members have been looking into that very extensively. And um, especially with all the mountainous regions that the storm is going to be plowing into, heavy rainfall is going to be a massive threat with this, but you can see overall weakening, good thing, on the forecast cone. Sea surface temperatures are going to remain very favorable all the way up to landfall. Uh, obviously, they are going to decrease a little bit as it heads into southwestern Japan. So, uh, But those sea surface temperatures, once again, are, are going to remain favorable all the way up to landfall in Japan. Looking at the HWRF's wind speed, you can see it taking a very right-hand hook there at the latest of the last second. Uh, but maintaining the intensity for a very while, not going to happen though. Uh, rainfall threat, you can see uh, rainfall being very very hit or miss at times. Uh, some locations not getting very much, but some locations are going to be getting a lot, which is going to lead to some landslide issues in the mountainous areas. Looking at the RAM diagnostic model, model plot, uh, hopelessly behind on this storm intensity right now. Wind shear is on the rise, which is going to induce some weakening, luckily, and that might save Japan in the long run. Now, these are temperatures are going to remain favorable for the next 24 to 48 hours, and then start to take a dive at the heads into Japan, and relative humidity on the drop as well. So, looking at the latest satellite imagery of the storm here in just a moment, there it is. What a phenomenal storm for so far this year. Uh, I know that many people are comparing the storm uh, to Typhoon Hidemnor, which happened just a few weeks ago. A uh, very beautiful typhoon in this region. And another Category 5 just a few weeks later in the same region heading towards the same general areas that were impacted by Hinemnor. So this storm isn't going to be as impactful as Hinemnor though, in terms of uh, that rainfall aspect in the Ryukyu Islands. We'll have more updates on this typhoon as it, as it grows closer to Japan. Stay tuned to the Japan Meteorological Agency for latest updates on this dangerous typhoon.